Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Are you guys okay? I'm okay. Okay. How was your I'm... day yesterday? So hard. Oh, <laughs> I, really? I, I, I finished to medianoche? Midnight? Midnight. midnight. Yes, midnight. 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 Oh, my God. I'm so sorry to hear that, but you know, that's the thing that we have to do, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it is that. Yeah, it's part of it's our jobs. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a part work. of our jobs. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. But everything was okay. Was it everything okay? Yeah. Si cuadro. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. Nice. It's too close. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. In my job, I supervise or revisar. Uh -huh. the, uh, revise or re checked. Check the the the, the old teams. Oh, the, check all the teams. Pay. And okay. uh, and, and it's okay. I close. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. And you um, divide their, um, so they say, um, the benefits and all the salaries, you know? In my case, it's only one, one, one account, uh, only procure to pay, it's only to oh, okay. pay. Okay. And I review that it's okay and, and mm -hmm. finish. Okay. This wall is the very big the, the my 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 job and I review. it's a very big responsibility, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Okay, nice. but okay. nice. I'm so glad that you could uh finish even though it was midnight, but you did it. Yeah. Okay. Hello everyone. Hello, Carlos Roberto. Hello, Linda. How are you doing, guys? Hello, teacher. I'm so happy tonight. You know? I'm very happy tonight. Today is the first day, yeah, of a very big celebration in our country, right? It's the first day, yeah? Okay, so congratulations everyone for being Salvadorian, independent, right? And free <laughs> in this beautiful land. Okay. Well, El Salvador, El Salvador, right? This is the land I love, guys. Do you love this land? Do you love this land? Land? country do you love your country yes of course teacher and of course. <laughs> yes and tomorrow you know our team is playing right yeah okay well i i really love this land too it's a very beautiful um country you know we have the most beautiful and talented reptile welcoming in hot country in the world, right? So happy bicentennial of the independence, okay? <laughs> happy bicentennial of your independence, guys. Are you happy for that? Well, yeah, teacher, yeah. Okay, if you're not happy for that, at least, at least, happy two by one in Mr. Donna, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoy that, okay? Yeah, I, I really love donuts. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Do you love donuts, guys? Giovanni, Edwin, Carla? No, no, teacher. No donuts? Oh my no. God. Well, I, I love donuts. Yeah. Yeah. 
but they are more expensive, right? Are they more expensive? Yeah, I think 25 cents more, right? <laughs> okay, well, guys, we are going to start. Los oigo algo calladitos. Bueno, si están calladitos, ¿cómo es que los oigo, verdad? Es una de las contradicciones de nuestro idioma. ¿Ya? Yeah. <laughs> Debería decir, no los escucho, están muy calladitos, right? Pero siempre decimos, los oigo calladitos. <laughs> okay, people, we are going to start tonight because we have an activity that we did yesterday and we want to show tonight, right? Our conversation. Do you remember? Yeah. ¿De qué fue lo que platicamos el día de ayer? ¿De qué platicábamos el día de ayer, chicos? The use of may and might. May and might and co can and could, uh-huh. What else? Yes, would. And we have to use this. Would and would like to. Two phrases. Would and would like to. Two different uses for the same modal verb. And we were saying that what does would like to mean? Or what's the meaning of this expression? Would like to. Mm -hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what if I show you a slide and we read three sentences, okay? We are gonna see what's the use of would like, okay? Okay, here we go. You see it? Okay, my beautiful people. I'm going to ask then, okay, by names. Giovanni Ramirez, please. Number one, can you read it? Yes, teacher. Uh, I, I would like to drink some coffee. Thank you some very coffee. much. Thank you very much. What does he want? What does he want? Coffee, right? So he is expressing uh something that he wants okay in a very polite way i would like to drink some coffee i would like to drink some coffee number two please giovanni pineda uh, I, I wouldn't like to drink any coffee thank you okay i wouldn't i wouldn't okay i wouldn't like to drink any coffee Thank you, I wouldn't, wouldn't, okay? There we go. So what is this sentence saying? No quiere, verdad? No quiere tomar café, okay. Nada de café. Okay, number three. Can you please read it, uh, Karina? Would you like to drink a cup of, of coffee? Okay. What is she doing? She is offering you guys. She is offering you uh, a cup of coffee. What about you, uh, Silvio? Would you like to drink a cup of coffee now? No. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Do you see? Okay. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's ask Annie. Would you like to drink a cup of coffee? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Two cups of coffee, please, right? <laughs> Two sugar. Uh, okay, spoon. yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> with two of sugar yes there you go and with a little of cream right cream yeah delicious do you like coffee guys do you like coffee yes you do yeah. kevin yes. do you like coffee? okay more or less okay. Yeah, okay and what do you prefer do you prefer coffee tea or milk in the morning chocolate Oh, okay, nice. Hot <laughs> chocolate, good. What about with pupusas? What about with pupusas? Yes. All time. Okay, <laughs> coffee, chocolate, or soda? Coffee. Coffee, yeah. Delicious. Soda. Soda, soda. okay. <laughs> okay, for example, they serve, you, uh, serve two pupusas to you, okay? And then you request or um, say what you want, right? For drinking, okay? For drinking. Then how do you ask for some soda? Hagamos la, la, la oración acá, okay? Para expresar que queremos una soda, okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería? Como la primera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I would like to drink soda. Okay. I would like to drink soda. Okay. There you are. Cuando hablamos de comer, de tomar, de todo eso, podemos usar un verbo, okay, que es have. Okay. Podemos decir drink. Okay. And sometimes we could say take. Uh, it's not so common, but we could say take. For example, I will I would like to take because you uh, want to have some soda, right? Podemos decir have, podemos decir drink. Igual como podríamos decir eat and have, okay? Eat, yeah, eat and have. Eat, have. I'm going to put this one, okay, with a dash here, and with a dash here for you to get it, okay? You could say have, you could say drink, you could say for solid food, then you will say eat or have, okay? For drinkings, have, drink. Okay, now, for example, Mm. imagine that you uh, don't like soda with your pupusas and you want to request what you want to drink, okay? Uh, for example, Giovanni said, I, mm -hmm. some hot chocolate, okay? <laughs> and now what? Chocolate, right? <laughs> okay, hot chocolate. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál es el uso de would like to? Uh -huh. ¿Para qué se usa? Possibility, possible. Would like to? Offer something. Okay, to offer something or to request. Para expresar o decir lo que yo quiero tener o lo que yo quiero agarrar, lo que yo quiero comprar, lo que yo quiero obtener, okay? Eh, o lo que yo quiero hacer. Okay, porque yo podría decir, I would like to have vacations, okay, soon, or the next month, right? 
Es algo que yo deseo. Okay? Y se lo puedo decir a mi jefe con este vocabulario. ¿verdad? No le voy a decir, hey, I want to have vacations. No, right? I would like to have some vacations. What do you think, my dear boss? I'm a very good employee, okay? <laughs> yeah, so you continue using your... Um, your um, Please. Yes, please. Yes, you say please always. Okay, then I would like to is to request politely, okay? And also to offer, yeah, offering also politely, okay? Si usted le dice a alguien, do you want a cup of coffee? No está malo, okay? No quiere decir que está malo, pero es más agradable y más respetuoso que usted le ofrezca diciéndole, would you like to? Okay. Así como cuando usted le ofrece en español a alguien, ¿quiere café? Mm, ok, no, ¿verdad? ¿Quisiera una taza de café? ¿Le puedo servir una taza de café? Muy diferente, ¿verdad? El, la forma más suave, más amable, más eh, warming. Ok, so offering politely. Estos son los dos usos de would like to. Ok. Bien. Entonces, ya que vimos ese uso, vamos a ir a tomar la lista de asistencia. this thing. Ahí se ha quedado. Ok. Bien. Sigue cargando desde que iniciamos. Entonces, vamos a ver. Vamos a continuar con los slides y vamos a empezar la clase desde el inicio, ¿ok? ¿Qué nos toca ahora? What do we um, have to study tonight, ¿ok? Let me go. I'm going to share this. This is where we were. Ok, today is the video conference number 10 and we are going to have a vocabulary and uh, some practice. Ok, we are going to see some vocabulary and also we are going to practice how we are going to have some conversations. We are waiting for having your conversations that you did yesterday. Yesterday you had a conversation. Ok, so you are going to show us. So you will be able to perform a role play using the vocabulary and the grammar learned during the unit. What unit? Unit two, okay? Unit two. So we are going to start with the feedback, yes. Using would and would like to. And we are going to see some uses of would in context, okay? Different contexts. And then we are going to have the written activities in our manuals. And also we are having some conversation time in the breakout rooms. And it was yesterday, Giovanni, right? So tonight I have to check it out. Okay. Check it out. One second. Okay. It's still doing the same thing, this thing. There it is, there it is coming. ¿Ustedes se acuerdan de los pica piedra? Do you remember the Flintstones? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, en español, en la parte donde es, iba a batear el periodiquero. ¿Cómo se llamaba este niñito? 
que siempre le tenía envidia y le ganaba en todo a Pedro. Do you remember that? Arnold. Arnold, yes, Arnold, Arnold. So they were playing baseball. Do you remember that? Uh, that scene when they were playing baseball and y, y Pedro Picapiedra hasta cruzaba los dedos de los pies. Do you remember that? <laughs> okay. And para que no le pegara la pelota, le decía, físcalo, físcalo, diablo panzón, le decía, físcalo, físcalo, diablo panzón. Do you remember that? <laughs> no se acuerdan de eso. Entonces yo cada vez que me pasa algo, híjole, desde pequeña siempre digo, fiscal, fiscal, diablo panzón. And I didn't want to say it before of explaining. No le quería decir antes de explicarles, porque si no iban a decir, oh, teacher, what is that? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, here it is. It showed up already. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana del... Ok, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Ani. Ok. Um, Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Ok, Ana Delmi. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Ok. There we are. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. There you are. Um, Daniel Enrique Orellana. I was kind of sick yesterday too. Okay. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alex, uh, Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. No Juan Carlos tonight? Not yet. Okay. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present, Chef. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present, teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. No Nancy tonight. Silvio Enrique. Cortés Flores. Present, Thank you. Present, teacher. Okay. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Wendy, are you there? No, Wendy, yet. Okay. Okay, people, I think they are getting some donuts, I think, right? <laughs> well, I love donuts. And I had donuts to today, yay. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to continue. It's a donut. Yeah. Yes, donuts. Did you Two get donuts? Oh. <laughs> September is the month. Yes. Uh -huh. It's the month traditionally, right? Now it's a tradition in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador. There we are. Okay, let's continue, guys. We were saying that we are going to share our conversations from yesterday, okay? Ya vimos entonces para qué sirve would like to. Ok. Ya vimos para qué sirve would like to. Entonces, cuando utilizamos would y el verbo base. Cuando hacemos eso. Ah, cuando queremos decir una situación es un, es un modal verb como a un futuro o como que lo voy a hacer así. Que este es mi deseo de hacerlo así. Ok. For example. Uh, let me go here. For example, uh, I'm not gonna show anything at the moment. You have two options, okay? You have two options. You have option A and option B, for example. Okay, this is an example. And then I offer you, okay? 
Which one would you like? I will take option B. Okay, I will take option B. No digo would like to, okay, pero lo voy a hacer así. Entonces, ¿qué uso? Would y el verbo base. Como ese muchas veces se confunde con will, okay? Con will. Will es otro modal verb y también ayuda a, esta, a expresar el futuro. Ok, el futuro, pero un futuro incierto. Lo vamos a ver más adelante, will, cómo se utiliza, pero eh, no quiero que lleguemos a esa confusión. Ok, would tiene su uso en, en, este, um, en este contexto. Ok, cuando usted decide agarrar, hacer o solicitarle a alguien también que haga algo. For example, yesterday we saw the um, example I told you about the 12th floor. Do you remember that example? Do you remember that example? Would you take this to the 12th floor? Okay. To the marketing department in the 12th floor? The 12th uh, floor? Do you remember? Entonces, would you Take this, llevaría esto, por favor, para allá, ¿verdad? Al, al departamento de mercadeo en el piso 12, ¿ok? Would you, ¿ok? Would you take, ¿ok? Would you take, a ver, podríamos entonces, would you buy the new model, ¿ok? O... Yo le ofrezco a alguien. Si se fijan, podemos pedir y ofrecer de una manera muy polite utilizando would. Ok. Yo le puedo decir, you would buy the new model. Ok. You would buy the new model if you want. Ok. If that's your wish. Ok. Then I can offer also with would. Ok. Are we ok with this? A ver. Ahora vamos a escuchar las conversaciones para que nos ubiquemos en would and would like to. Ok, acuérdense que estábamos en una discusión, no discusión, una solicitud ya sea de un refund o de un exchange or what would you like to do. ¿Se recuerdan? Ok. Vamos a ver. Escuchemos entonces primero, let's listen to Carlos Alberto. Yeah. Carlos Alberto, are you ready with your conversation? Okay. Yes. There we go. Mm. Thank you for a call to technology and sport. How Karina is speaking. How can I help you? Thanks, Karina. I would like to change my tablet. And the tablet is scratching the box. Um, when do you purchase the tablet? I bought the tablet yesterday. Do you have your receipt? Yes, I do. Okay, would you like to bring the tablet to the store to make the exchange effective? Sure, when may I go? You may come at our times, Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thanks so much. Okay, great, great. It's a, gr a very great conversation. But look, uh, when we ask, for example, when uh, someone did something, we use past tense, okay? We don't say do you. I don't know if you say do or if you say did because I couldn't hear. Uh, if you say, when did you buy, okay? When did you buy? Okay. I Thanks. say, when uh -huh. do you purchase? Okay, uh -huh. when did you? Okay. Thank okay, you. when did you purchase this uh, product? And then Carlos answers in the past tense too, because it was yesterday, right? So you could say, I bought it, right? Past tense, yesterday. I bought it yesterday. Okay. Okay, there you Thank are. You. Good. Now continue, Linda, please. I don't know if Linda was ready. Are you ready, Linda? Yes. Okay. Uh, with Silvio and Wendy. Okay. 
No sé si está Wendy. No. Si no, voy a hacer la otra parte. Okay. 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 Good morning. My name is Linda. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you help me? Yesterday I bought a bicycle and if it has a problem. What is the problem? The, the bicycle chain broken. Would you like to exchange the bicycle? No, I would like to reform. Oh, sorry. I can't give you a solution, but I transfer you to my supervisor. Okay, please. Tell me that you would like to a refund? Yes, I'd like to uh, receive a refund. Okay, would you like to come to our branch for the money or could you give your bank account number? Of course, my account number is 0055. Okay, uh, it's deposit. It's deposit ready tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Oh, sorry for the problem. Have a nice day. Okay, guys. Good, good, good. But let's let's look at this. Uh, we are trying to be polite when we uh, speak on the phone, right? When we talk on the phone. Why? Because it's a customer. We can tell them, what is the problem? No, right? We have to, can you tell me what seems to be the problem? Okay. okay. Uh, tenemos que hacerlo más polite. Si no, el cliente va a decir, ah, ya no quiero nada con ustedes, denme mi pisto. Eso fue lo que pasó, él se enojó. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have to be polite, guys. Uh, for example, uh, you could say, can you tell me what the problem is? Okay. Or what seems to be the problem, sir? Okay. Remember that we have to be polite. Also, cuando Silvio contesta, okay, eh, he said, uh, él, él le dijo, uh, I would like to. He was very kind. Okay. He was very polite. I would like to ask for a refund. Sería la frase que debemos aprendernos, ¿ok? Ask for a refund. Así se dice pedir un reintegro, ¿verdad? Ask for a refund. I would like to ask for a refund. ¿Ok? There you are. Now, let's listen to Giovanni Pineda. Uh, okay, teacher, uh, with Carlos Eduardo. Yes. The star. The star. Okay. Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is Giovanni. How can I help you? I'd like to return this cell phone. It does turn on. It okay. doesn't turn on. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Do you have the receipt? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Could you mind showing the receipt? Uh, here it is. May you tell me if the cell phone has some damage? No, the cell phone has no damage. Could you like the exchange the cell phone or ask for a reform? I like to exchange this cell phone. Sure, no, pro no problem. Give me a moment, please. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. What what color do you prefer? A black color, please. Okay. Here. Here it is your new cell phone. Enjoy it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, may I help you in something else? No, thank you. Okay, goodbye. 
Okay, nice. Very kind. This seller, I mean, this clerk is really, really polite. Very good, guys. You did a good job with this. Okay. Okay. Okay, Juan Carlos, no problem. Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. No problem. Okay, now we want to listen to uh, who was working with Juan Carlos yesterday? ¿Quién trabajó con Juan Carlos ayer, chicos? Did you come? Sure. Oh, okay. Okay, then I think um, maybe you are going to do it with someone else, okay, at this moment. Okay, Carlita, just wait, porque Juan Carlos is not feeling well now, okay? No se siente okay. muy bien. Okay. Now let's see Edwin. We want to listen to Edwin. Good. <clears throat> Nancy. Ah. Nancy. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Okay. And hey. hello, good morning. I have a problem with the motorcycle. Hello, good morning. Thanks so much so much for calling. Nancy is speaking. How can I help you? I would like to make the motorcycle the warranty effective. Could you tell me what is a war with the motorcycle, please? Okay, the motorcycle has engine and problems. Do you have a receipt? Of course. Will you mean send me the brochure my, by mail or WhatsApp? Okay, sure. Finished, teacher. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys. Uh huh. Okay, Suleiman, no problem. Okay, guys, look, um, it's a very nice conversation and you could um, think that this guy uh, really has a problem, right? And this seller, I mean, well, is not only a rep uh, to repair, right? They have to replace that motorcycle. Did you get it? Did you get it? It's a very big problem. Yeah, serious problem. Okay. Uh, Yo sé que por los nervios comenzó Edwin, pero le tocaba comenzar a Nancy, ¿verdad? Porque ella contestaba el teléfono, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. Okay, there we go. There we go. ¿Y cuál era el problema exacto? Porque hoy engine burns or uh, ¿qué pasó? With the motorcycle. What happened with the motorcycle? Problema de motor. Okay. No sé. Okay. But did eh, you say engine burns? Engine problems. Ah, engine problems. I said se quemó el motor, right? Engine burns. So I, I think, oh my God, it's really a big problem, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no guarantee. <laughs> no guarantee. Imagine. Chinita, right? <laughs> There you are. Okay, marca pajarito. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, but you did a good job, guys. You did a good job. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Kevin, are you ready? Did you say no? Oh yes. Okay. I thought you say no because we sh you showed only your mouth. <laughs> okay, there you are, guys. Okay, Mr. Uh -huh. Hello, welcome to KPC Store. Uh, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, hello. I'm looking for a model computer Dell Experian. So we have a uh, Dell computer available, but we don't have that model. So what do you think about XYZ model? If you buy a unit, I can offer you two years of warranty. It, it's not the model I want, but 
if you give me three years, I buy the warranty. In three years, right? Okay, we have a deal. Um, the warranty includes anti theft. Um, no, it's only for the mansion factory. Uh, it's okay. I'll buy it. <laughs> okay. Advisory, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Nice. Nice. And it was a very warm conversation. They use can, could, may, right? They use those um, modal verbs. Okay. There we are. Mm, let's listen to Annie. Okay, Giovanni. <laughs> Annie, no me hey, hello, Giovanni. Hi, you ring, are going to ring. see this. <laughs> okay. Ring, ring. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Good, good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Giovanni is speaking. How can I help you? Good evening, Giovanni. Uh, I need you help me. I purchased one pair of shoes. It is defaulty. Could you tell me what the mesh have the product? Sorry? Could you tell me what the mesh have the product? Is, is the problem is, is the mesh is crushing the this the mesh. I would like to exchange or reform. I like you reform, please. Okay, um, could, could you present today? Uh, okay, thank you. Only teach. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, look, guys, we need to practice um, making the sentences, okay? Blending all the words with the correct meaning. So, for example, if we are going to ask uh, or we want to request for something, maybe it's a question, right? So we have to use that grammatical structure, okay? Grammatical structure. ¿Cómo es la estructura de una pregunta utilizando would like to? Would al principio, ok. Would, then the subject, would you, ok. Would you like, would you like to, tenemos que usar to, y luego el verbo con su forma base. En este caso, eh, la acción que usted quiere, Ana, Ani, es ask for a refund, ¿ok? Entonces, armémosla completamente, Giovanni, sería, would you like to ask for a refund? ¿Ok? Would you like to ask for a refund? ¿Ok? Then, the answer of Ani could be, Oh, yes, please. I'd like to ask for a refund. Okay. Yes, please. That's what I would like to. Okay. The answer. Oh, yes, please. Yes. Continue. Please. Uh, usted le puede decir lo mismo en la misma inform usando la misma información de la pregunta. I'd like to. Okay. Like, yes, I'd like to. I like to ask for a reason. For reform. A reason. Yes. Mm, okay. For, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, there you are, Thanks. guys. Very good. Así que siempre, chicos, cuando vamos a hacer una conversación, por lo menos aquí en las prácticas, primero si se fijan la metodología es que les doy todo el vocabulario, ¿ok? Vemos primero palabras, después vemos algunos verbos que se usan en ese contexto, 
Luego vemos la estructura gramatical, ¿verdad? Y después hacemos la conversación, ¿ok? En la conversación usamos ese vocabulario que aprendimos, ¿ok? No tenemos que buscar otro vocabulario más que este que estamos practicando en el momento, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Sí. Ok, there we are. We want to listen to, um, it was, well, it's, it's not possible. Okay, it's not possible. Ok, Carla. Carla, uh, would you mind reading your conversation even if, uh, well, we don't know exactly the next part, but would you like to read your conversation? Pero lo hace usted solito. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Carla is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Carla. I'd like to report to report problem on the cell phone. Of course. What is the problem? The problem is that the cell phone is not returned on. What would you like to do? A reform or a change? I to change another the cell phone. Do you have to reset? Yes, I do. Can you call the store personally for issue the change? Sure, thanks. You're welcome. See you later in the store. Okay, guys, look, you did a good job, Carla. And thank you, Juan Carlos, even though he can't speak now, he's having some trouble. Okay, you did a good job. Ahora, siempre recuerden que después de la, de la eh, palabra for, acuérdense qué es lo que sigue. Ah, yo creo que alguien también tenía eso. For, y luego vamos a usar un ing verb, okay? Si la palabra que sigue es un verbo, es ing form, ¿ok? For example, for purchasing, for issuing, ¿ok? For doing, for keeping, for having. Después de la palabra for, vamos a usar un ing verb form, ¿ok? No podemos decir for to do, for to have, for... Or for issue, for no, for issuing, okay? Como una acción. Siempre sería así, teacher. Yes, yes. Estamos hablando acerca de los gerundios que van después de las preposiciones. La preposición es for, okay? For. Uh -huh. A ver, vamos a pasar al manual. Okay, because now we have the written activities. We go to the manual. Y se me apareció el de los slides. One second. Así sucede, ¿verdad? Aquí está. Y vamos a ver un proceso, a process, or actions, okay? Actions when a customer calls to a customer service department, okay? Vamos a ver. What actions from here, okay? We have 12 actions. If you see, they are all actions. Pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, and receive. Todas son acciones, yeah? And what are actions? What are actions, guys? ¿Qué son las acciones? Verbos, ¿verdad? Verbs. Did you see the actions there? Explain. Assist. Okay.
Se me movió todo, permítanme. Okay, these are some actions. Ahorita acabamos de practicar como que fuera una llamada, ¿ok? Permítanme que todo esto se me movió. Ahí voy. Como que fuera una llamada, ¿ok? Luego vamos a continuar con lo que teníamos atrás. Pero ahorita veamos el proceso. ¿Por qué se movió esto? Ok. ¿Qué es lo que hace cada uno? ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Ay, se vuelve a mover aquí. Aquí está. What does the customer do? What does the customer do of these actions? ¿Qué acciones de estas que ven acá hace el cliente? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. ¿Quién contesta el teléfono? No, no, no. Entonces. Calls. Ok, he calls. Yes. He calls, right? Bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Ok. The customer would call, right? The customer would call if he has a problem, right? If he has a problem, he would call. Okay, it's action number 11. There we are. Okay. The customer call. Now, what else? And bye. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Complain. What else? Complain. Mm -hmm. What else? Request information. Okay. What else? Excuse me. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? Understand. Understand. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to write it down here. We're not moving everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does the company's representative do? ¿Qué fue lo que ustedes como, como representantes de customer service hicieron? Okay. What does a company's representative would do if a customer call? Explain. Okay. Assist. Mm -hmm. Help. Help. Assist. Mm -hmm. Give information. Okay. Mm. In this case is like explain, right? To give inf information, okay? I think they help, okay? You help, help. the customer. Assist. Yes, assist, uh-huh. Uh-huh. What else? Uh-huh. 
Well, he, okay, he picks up the phone. Yes, pick up the phone. Okay, esto es lo que ustedes acaban de hacer, okay, en la conversación que acaban de tener. Todos casi fueron, solo dos creo que fueron personalmente, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos tratando de ver las acciones. Ahora, ¿cómo diríamos lo que va a hacer o lo que haría? Okay, the customer would call. The customer would buy, the customer would complain, okay? The customer would request information, okay? Would, would, remember that, okay? Now let's continue with this one. Pick up the phone, help, assist, uh, buy, call, receive. Who receives? Who receives? I think... It depends, yes, it depends. Yeah, receive information or receive uh, maybe Money. the, yeah, or the pictures, right? Or the pictures of uh, like a proof of, or of damage, right? Who gets the prizes? Who gets the prizes? Who gets the prizes? The company is representative. The representative get the prices for the customer, okay? He get the prices for the customer. What else? And the customer ask, right? Ask, uh, request information about the prices, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Are we okay with these uh, actions? Yes. Okay, this is part of unit three, but I just wanted you to see what you did in this moment, okay? Because we did a phone conversation, okay? Are you okay? There we go. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this and we go to the other part. Let me go to the slides. Y vamos a volver al ejemplo del café. Ok. En el ejemplo del café. En el ejemplo del café. Ok. Podríamos hacer preguntas. Ok. Requesting for something. Ok. Requesting for this person to make the coffee, for example, okay? Then we are going to write questions, okay? Vamos a ver, ejemplos de cómo le podríamos pedir a alguien que haga el café utilizando would. A ver, armemos la oración, okay? Empezamos con una, como vamos a hacer un request, una pregunta, right? Would. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le seguiría? Would you like to? Make a coffee. Okay. Make coffee. Ajá. Ok. Eso, eso, ese significado que le estamos dando es... Um, uh, que si quiere hacerlo, ok, que si quiere hacerlo, quiere hacer el café, ahora o si le gustaría hacerlo, verdad ahora, si yo le estoy dando como una instrucción pero pidiéndose pidiéndose lo que, pidiendo que lo haga, entonces voy a usar solamente would ok, would you make some coffee or coffee, ok, would you make coffee Would you make coffee? Y le ponemos un complemento para que se comprenda. For the meeting. Ok. Would you make coffee for the meeting? Le estoy pidiendo de una manera muy polite que haga el café. Ok. Would you make coffee for the meeting? Would. Would. Ok. 
A ver. ¿Qué otra eh, oración se les ocurre? A ver, ejemplos con el café. Si yo le ofrezco hacer el café, por ejemplo. I would make coffee for the meeting. Ok. Ok. Aquí estoy ofreciendo hacerlo. No le estoy diciendo que yo quiero hacer el café. No. Le estoy diciendo que lo voy a hacer. Ok. I would make coffee for the meeting. I'm offering myself to do that. Okay. Are we okay with this? Okay. Yes. Okay. Son dos significados diferentes, ¿sí? Ahora después de la clase les voy a enviar un video en donde hay una eh, práctica, okay? En donde van a poder visualizar la diferencia entre would like to y solo would, ok en ese video aparece would like, como verbo like, para que se entienda un poquito más fácil la diferencia de cómo se utiliza, ok es bastante larguito, son como siete minutos, pero es muy interesante ir leyendo cada oración y esperando la respuesta, ok bien, hasta este momento, ¿hay alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No questions? ¿Cómo se repite? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se traduciría esa última oración? I will make coffee for the meeting. Uh, así, yo voy a hacerles café para la reunión, pero ofreciéndome hacerlo. O sea, el contexto es, for example, hey, we need to, to have a meeting today. Ok, no problem, I will make coffee for the meeting. Ok, o nos vamos a quedar hasta la medianoche. We are going to stay until midnight. Ok, I will make coffee for the meeting. Ok, offering, offering. The context is that you are offering politely. Um, no hay problema, o sea, yo lo voy a hacer. Ok, correct. Me ofrezco yo misma. Uh, yo haría el café para la reunión. Yeah. There you go. What if, ok, ahora vamos a la otra parte. What if you are not willing to do it? Que usted no tiene la voluntad de hacerlo, ok. Hey, nos vamos a quedar hasta medianoche, ok. Uh, but I wouldn't make coffee for the meeting, ok. Yeah. ¿Ven la diferencia? I wouldn't make coffee. For the meeting. Okay. That you are willing to make coffee and then that you are not willing to make the coffee. Okay. Estamos hasta ahí, chicos. Yes, teacher. Okay. Willing significa que usted tiene la voluntad. Will is una palabra que significa, uno de los significados para esa palabra es voluntad. Por eso se dice God's will, primero Dios, ¿ok? God's will significa primero Dios, ¿ok? Así, se los voy a escribir por los que no lo conocen esa frase, ¿ok? Ok, God's will. ¿Ok? God's will significa primero Dios. Are you coming tomorrow? God's will. Okay. Oh, yes, God's will. Okay. Ese era un paréntesis. Okay. I wouldn't make coffee for the meeting, guys. Okay. Tiene diferentes usos. Okay. Wood tiene diferentes usos. Este. Es uno de ellos. ¿Ok? ¿Are we ok till here? I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Attendance, did you say, right? You said attendance? Oh, thank you. Thank you.
There we are. Okay, Ana del Carmen Me Mejía Álvarez. Ah, Ana Chavarría es primero. Ana <ríe> Cristina Chavarría Flores. Ana Cristina, are you there? She's, good. She's having problems, right, with the audio. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher, Ana del, Yes, I hear that too. Ana del Mi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Okay, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Oh, he's sick, I remember. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Zuria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Yeah, I know she's there, right? She's having problems too. And Wendy Xiomara Núñez. No, Wendy. Okay, guys, déjenme poner en orden nuevamente porque se movió esto. Okay. Okay, we are going to the vocabulary practice. Okay, this is in page 27 and 28. Okay, and um, one second. Yes. Okay, here it is. There we go. Guys, here. Okay, then you can um, draw lines to match. Okay, we are going to match the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. Se acuerdan que al principio dijimos todo el proceso. A ver, respetemos el proceso que tiene el manual, aunque Carlos Eduardo dijo, verdad, que en algunos lugares. Es un poquito diferente, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a hacer como el proceso general, ¿ok? Empecemos. Let's start. We have to match the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. The credit cards, what? In formation, right? Yeah. Confirm your information and then. Okay. Pueden entrar, por favor, y hacer las líneas para hacer el match. Se ven incompletos.
Okay, Edwin, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Good. Now I'm going to uh, erase the lines. Okay. Vamos a hacer el proceso. Okay. We are going to do the process. Which one is the first step? Which one is the first step? Which one is the first step? Mm -hmm. Open your audio and tell me which one is the first step? Go to the online web page. Okay. Go to the online web page. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the first step. Second step. Log in. Log into your account. Log in. Okay. Log in to your account. Log in. Log in to your account. Okay. Num uh, what's the next one? Third step. Select the uh, item. Okay. Purchase. Purchase. Okay, select the item or the items to purchase. Good. What is the fourth step? Check the price. Thank you, Carlos Eduardo. Check the price. Which one is the fifth step? The fifth step? Confirm the method of payment. Okay. Um, are, do you agree, guys? Mm. Confirm write, the method uh, of billing, payment. Write the billing address. Write the billing address. Mm. I think confirm the method of payment was okay, right? Because then you say if you are going to pay by the credit card and which credit card you are going to use, right? <laughs> Is it? Okay, then what will be the sixth step? Credit card information. Okay, credit cards information. Mm -hmm. What will be the seventh step? Write your billing address. Okay. Everybody agrees? 
Is everybody in the same page? Okay, write the uh, billing address, right? Okay, and what will be the next step? Confirm your information and submit. And submit. Okay, great. Great, and it finishes, right? And it finishes. Even though after that we need a proof of purchase, right? We need like the voucher number or something, yes? We need uh, un comprobante, right? Okay, guys, now let's continue here. But let me stop sharing this. Porque estando así se mueve demasiado. Okay, vamos a la actividad número tres. Activity number three. Okay. Vamos a dejar la actividad número dos para el día de mañana, okay? And let's see. Mm -hmm. Can you read please the instructions? What do we have to do here? Carlos Alberto? Read the description and write down the correct demonstrative pronoun. This, that, this, those. Okay. So, Carlos Eduardo, please read number one. Fijémonos. Okay. Pero primero fijémonos que en el paréntesis, okay, tenemos. Quién está realizando la acción o, o la lejanía o la cercanía de eh, el asunto del que se está hablando, ¿ok? Okay. Okay. How could you buy something like this? Okay. Is it correct, guys? This, yes, it's one object, right? It's one object, so it's singular. A purse. And where is the purse? Here in my hand. Okay, so it's this. Okay, how could you buy something like this? Okay, there you are. Like this. Number two. Number two. Number two, guys. Let's see. Uh huh. These reports are very heavy. Uh huh. With a this plural. Okay, hagamos esa pronunciación todos. These. Abramos así, eh. These. 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 Y el otro es más corto. Okay. This. Okay. This is these, this, these. Okay, but volvemos acá and we are going to write the correct demonstrative here. These. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's a pile of reports. So it means they are talking about the reports. If you see, they are in plural and they say are very heavy. Where are these reports? In my lap, okay? I have them here in my lap, on my lap. Okay, number three. This. Why? Mm -hmm. 
Because you are, uh huh. Plural. Plural. Okay. Yes. Shoes is plural. Okay. I had to wear or wear. Uh. Mm -hmm. This comfortable shoes I bought and I am wearing them. Okay. I have them on. Okay. Number four. That. Okay, why do we say that here? Uh huh. Because it's singular. Uh huh. <laughs> and it's not near, right? It is not near. It's on a far desk. Okay, it's not in a near desk. It's in a far desk. Okay, good. Number five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those these are Mr. Financial. Oh. Okay, those are Mr. Pinal's children. children. Okay, it's a picture hanging on the wall. Okay, okay. it's... Uh-huh. Y ahí depende o no depende. Se acuerdan que así nos pasaba, ¿verdad? Yes. It depends. Yeah. Okay, it depends. Yeah. Okay, we could say those. Yes, we could say those. Right? We cannot touch it, right? Those are Mr. Pinedo's children. Okay. Number six. That. 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 Uh huh. Because you are like pointing there, right? Okay, one picture. Um, okay, it's hanging on the wall. Imagine that it is on the desk, then we could say this because we are in the same position, right? Or near, yeah? But here, no, it's hanging on the wall. In that picture, you see my wife and daughter. Do you have any question about this or the vocabulary here? Is it everything okay? Uh huh. Okay. Let me uh, stop. Uh -huh. on, on your lap. Mm -hmm. when, when you use on my lap for example uh well my lap is in mis piernas so yeah aquí and, um, just, and, and, and in el regazo no and, en las piernas ah, google, en las piernas google dice regazo okay uh -huh. ajá bueno well, el regazo yeah pero es como que usted está chineando eso okay on your lap uh -huh. pero eh, sobre sus piernas yeah, for example, you uh, put your kids on your lap, okay? You get their, uh, you hold them there, right? You hold them on your lap. And there are other meanings also, right, for lap. I think some of you could understand that too, right? You get it? Teacher? Yes, Thank tell you. me. For, for three, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, plural about the shoes is... Uh, yes. Par, decimos un par, pero es, es plural. No. When we say a pair of shoes, then we are talking about one pair, and we refer to one pair. 
Okay. okay. Ahí sí nos referimos a uno. This pair of shoes. Yeah. This. No, those pair. It's one pair. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Pero si hablamos de así, zapatos, es, se sobreentiende que es plural porque no tenemos solo un pie, ¿verdad? En general, ya, yeah. sino que son siempre dos. Y aunque tuviéramos solo un pie, nos venden los dos, ¿verdad? <laughs> ok, that is why we use plural, yeah. Like pants, it's the same case as pants, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. We have two legs, so... They cannot hey, sell only hey, one lads. leg, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, a pair of legs. Yes. And so it is a, a ah, glasses. Yes, it's two because we don't have only one eye, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a pair of glasses. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you are. Like pajamas. Pajamas is always plural. Yeah. Pajamas is always plural. Why? Because it's supposed that it's a suit right the shirt and uh, pants or shorts right pajamas it's plural too always plural okay let me stop sharing porque si lo saco de así se mueve it moves okay déjeme ubicarlo Okay. Y como les dije ayer, ok, esta actividad se parece mucho a la que posteamos de la actividad número 5, ya, yeah, de que estábamos viendo can and could. Do you remember? A ver, déjenme compartirla. It's 9.30, okay. Here we go, okay. It says can and could. Complete the different questions and ask them to a partner and write down the answer. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? What do we have to do? Complete the different questions. Y después que ya tengamos las preguntas, se la vamos a preguntar a un compañero, ¿ok? Y nos va a dar esa respuesta. Esa respuesta es la que vamos a tomar como respuesta de esta pregunta que usted hizo, ¿ok? La, el, la, se va a hacer su respuesta, ¿ya? Su ejercicio acá. Usted lo escribe en ese espacio, ¿ok? Entonces, para hacer esto, como son cinco, perdón, son seis, entonces vamos a hacerlo en el breakout room, ¿ok? Y este Carlos Eduardo y todos los demás, lo digo porque él me dijo ayer, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna duda, no, no, se, eh, no, no se detengan, llámenme, pongan ahí con el botoncito, teacher, we need help, ¿ok? Entonces ahí solo puchan y ya me llaman, ¿ok? Y yo pues trato de ir rápidamente donde necesiten la ayuda, ¿ok? Mientras tanto yo voy pasando de grupo en grupo, ¿ok? Now we go. Vuelvo a decirles, it's page 28 in your manuals. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de la actividad? ¿Todos entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Bueno. Oh, I didn't remember about Juan Carlos and Suleima.
una le va a responder una le va a responder a la otra verdad va okay Ajá. bueno ahí viene Carlos Eduardo creo que somos tres tres son good evening eh, voy a compartir la pantalla un segundito excelente okay. excelente excelente uh, teacher <laughs> hi Ah, ha, ha. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Good. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Somos tres teachers. Vamos a repartir las preguntas. Okay. okay, we are three. We are three. Uh -huh. the, the question is, is six, two. Good. It's a very good strategy. It's a very good strategy. Go ahead. Ok. Eh, dos preguntas, dos respuestas. Vamos a intercalar. Si, una, si preguntan en la uno, Nancy, pregunta la uno, pregunta la dos. Contesta la tres a la cuatro o la cinco a la seis. Igual a ni. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok, pensemos en preguntas. Yes. What can you, what can you, when could you, and the other person, where can you, how could you, y por ejemplo yo, uh, me, who can you, why could you, okay. Okay, entonces. Think about it, the question, and after the answer, okay. You may use the examples we have. Remember in the platform, I gave you a list of questions that you can use too, okay. Okay. Uh, Mile. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Okay, uh, are you okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, uh, just uh, do me a favor. I'm going to send to this group uh, Suleyma, okay? And she's going to be just hearing, okay? Okay. Okay. She's just listening, okay? There you are. Okay, thank you. Well, goodbye. Oops. A motorcycle, I don't know what to say. A new... Remember, you can practice the, the sentences we have in the manual. Go back in the manual. Mm -hmm. And also in the platform, I gave you a list of questions that you should answer. So you can use that vocabulary too, okay? To practice okay. and to drill it, okay? Okay. I don't know what happened with Suleyma. I sent her here, but I, I can see her. Okay, guys, if Suleyma comes, please uh, just take her in consideration, even though she can't speak right now, okay? Okay. Okay, there you are. Could you pass? Pass, 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 p
Hey. Hello, how are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, eh, para decir pasar, podemos usar pass o tendría que ser como aprobar o... Pass is P-A-S-S. -S. Uh -huh. Yes, pass the test. No, not without the T. I mean, it's without the T, it's with a letter S. Double S. A double S, pass. Yes, pass. Pass. Uh-huh. Y pasar de test y cómo podrías tú pasar de test. Ok. Y next question, Giovanni. Who, who can you recommend me for the work? Recommend me for the work. ¿Así? Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. Next. Uh, um, um. No sé, no sé. Quiero ver. Why. Hello. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Una duda. Tell me. Eh, Las preguntas van a ser acerca de algún específico que son. No? no, no. Pueden ser independientes. Pueden ser de. Va, acuérdense que en el manual tenemos una serie de ejemplos. Pueden usar de ahí, ¿verdad? Y en la plataforma también hay actividades con ejemplos usando can and could. También pueden usar de ahí. La idea es usar el vocabulario que ya aprendimos, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok, okay. independiente. No, no, no es necesario que lleven una relación, ya como una conversación, no. Que okay. una respuesta, perdón, una pregunta, una respuesta. Pasa, otra. Una pregunta, una respuesta, otra. Así. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. okay, guys. Entonces, con la But can you? Mm -hmm. Go yeah. back in the manual and you will find some examples. Okay? Okay. okay. I'm going to another group, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. thank you. Por email. To send. To you apply to send. To send. Is TV for email. For email. For email. Teacher, I I create a number four. Uh, and write how how could you apply the job? Okay. Yes. How could you oh, apply? I I review the job vacancy. Uh, oh yeah, vacancy is yeah. You can use it's that. The same. It, uh, yes, it's okay. the same. If you want to use the other, okay, yeah, vacancy. Or how could you apply? For oh. the job, for the job. That job, okay. Mm -hmm. The answer, uh, I write, you could apply to send a CV, a CV for email. By email, by, by email. E by email, mm -hmm. okay. 
Okay. Why? How can you? How can you? How can you? Okay. How can you? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería ese teacher? Who can you? ¿Quién? Uh -huh. Who can you wait for this job? Who can you... Um, who can you ask for help? Okay. Who can you... I don't know, uh, this moment, we could say, for example, who can you lend a hand in your job? A quien más le puedes ayudar, verdad? Um, who can you mm, talk to? Talk to about the problem, okay? Who can you call for explaining this situation? Yeah, you get it? And also, Remember that you can go back in the manual and see some other examples, okay? Use the vocabulary that we studied in this unit. And also remember that in the platform, uh, there is a discussion uh, label where we have a list of questions that you can use to, to practice, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to another group, okay? Okay. Okay, yes. teacher. Put on a dress with high heels. No sé si está o oh, I could put put on a skier with I must have a cena. Sí, yo creo que estaría bien un vestido con tacones altos. Entonces sería I could put on a dress. I could put on a dress with high heels. A dress. Why? With high high. Altos. Heels. I think it's not possible to write on the chat, right? Hello, girls. How are you doing? I'm sorry. Hello, I didn't say hello. Okay. Uh, I was checking. Oh, yes. You can send a chat. So, Karina, if Ana Cristina also, if Ana Cristina has a question, for example, she was saying how to write hi. You could send uh, on a chat, yeah, the, the writing or the okay. spelling. Mm -hmm. Ana mm -hmm. Cristina, go to the chat and check what Karina is going to send you. No entiendo, teacher. Váyase al chat y vea lo que Karina le está enviando. Go to the chat. Okay. 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 Okay.
No, lo he escrito así. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was, uh, that is why I think it was a very good strategy using the chat. Yeah. This is more easy. Yes, it's easier. Yes. Yeah. Even though you practice the spell, right? The spelling. Yeah, you practice a lot the spelling. <laughs> Yeah, because if Ana Cristina says, for example, Ana Cristina, usted le pregunta, hi, how do you spell hi? Entonces viene Karina y empieza H, I, G, H. Entonces practican el spelling, right? You practice the spelling too. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Ana Cristina. You are doing a good job. Calm down. You are doing a good job. Remember. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, now let's see, uh, what question are we, um, are you guys doing now? It was the why or the last one? Who? Who? Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, who can you see? Okay. We can say, who can you see? Okay, the idea is to practice the vocabulary we studied in the unit. You may go back in the, in the manuals and you can see the examples we have in the manual. Also, you can go to the platform and the platform you have in the discussion la uh, label. There are some examples too, okay? Remember that you should answer those questions okay go to those uh go to those questions to, to practice okay okay sí. recuerden que estas actividades no son para complicarlas sino que para que practiquen lo que ya aprendimos okay, okay. For example, and like Christina. Oh, okay. It says, Who can you? Imagine uh -huh. Who can you have coffee in office? Who can you have uh -huh. coffee in your in office? Um, Como, ¿quién puede hacer? Um, um, entonces ya no sería who can you. Ahí tendría que ser who can make the coffee. Okay. Um, Ajá. Who can you uh, necesita, o sea, usted está preguntando quién podría, eh, eh, a quién podrías tú, no quién podría, sino que a quién podrías tú y pone la acción. Por ejemplo, who can you talk to if you have a problem? Ok, with the product. Who can you talk to? I'm going to write it in the chat. Okay, who can you talk to? Let me see. I'm going to send. Uh, Teacher, um, if uh -huh. I want to say, if you, for example, can pay something, I can say, how can you pay? Or no. How can you? How? Who, pardon? Who? Uh, Mm, repeat the, the repeat the question, please. Who can you pay? Uh -huh. For example, who can you pay that products? 
Yes, yes, you can say that. Who can you pay this? Yes. Okay. This we can say. Who can you okay. pay? Uh -huh. I'm going to send you this one and I'm going, okay. Something like this. Uh, la que yo le estaba diciendo a Cristina, for example, is who can you talk to if you have a problem with the product, for example. Que era lo que estábamos hablando en la unidad, verdad? Problems with the products, okay? Yes. So who can you talk to if you have a problem with the product? Uh -huh. Who can you talk to you if you have extra charges, right? Okay. Okay. But that so, one is good. The one that you said is good, Karina. Where I think it's easier to so say what, that. Yes, and what will be the answer? Um, I can. Can you write the question on the chat, Karina, yes, for Christine? Um, okay. <clears throat> you can talk problems with with the products, uh -huh. right? Oh, esa sí ya se la escribí yo creo, ok. Um, la que usted dijo, Karina. Eh, mm, who can you, uh -huh. who can you pay that products? Who can you pay to, ok? Who can you pay uh -huh. to, and pay just to. that. Uh -huh. Who can you pay to? ¿A quién? Okay, uh -huh. ¿Le puede poder? ¿A quién le puede ah, poder? Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Only. Yes. Okay. Okay, Carol, it's almost 10. I'm going okay. to the main room, uh, okay? I'm going okay. over there. Continue, please, and wait for the... Hello, Mr. Giovanni Ramirez. Today is your turn, okay? For the session one-on-one. -on -one. Mr. Giovanni Ramirez. Tell me, teacher. Today is your turn for the session one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, Just, teacher. Okay. Are you staying? Hola. Hello, Anadelmi. Hello. How are you doing? Everything okay? Okay. Okay. Giovanni, are you staying after the class? Yes, teacher. Okay, there you are. Okay, people, only one uh, sharing because it's 9.58, okay? It's 9.58. Solo vamos a escuchar a un, una, un equipo, okay? There we are. Carlos Eduardo, please. Not finished. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, the first two questions. Eh, si quiere, le, le pregunto yo. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, number one, what, what can you what can you do with the computer computer in bad condition? I could call the dashboard. Okay. 
Okay. Number two. When could you installing the antivirus in my computer? Uh, I installed the antivirus the last week. Okay. Okay, Nancy, did you say when you, when, I'm sorry, when can you? Uh, it's in, como instalar, pero me cuesta la, la palabra pronunciarla. No problem. Can you repeat it? Okay. When call you installing the antivirus, uh, antivirus in okay. my computer? Okay, I, let's try to say, to say this uh, correctly. It is. When can you install? Okay, no ing. When can you install the antivirus? The antivirus. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The antivirus. Okay. And uh -huh. is install, no installing. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Install. Okay, yes. Okay. There you are. Okay, Thank guys, you. we are going to take the attendance and uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with this and also with the two pages that we have before the vocabulary practice. Okay, so let me take the attendance. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana. We know he's having trouble. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Mr. Pineda. Present. Oh, okay. Um, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. I know he was present too. Karina Noemi Alvarez Mejia. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Ok. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. There we have, ok. Ok, everybody, then happy uh, bicentennial celebration, ok, for your independence. So let us meet tomorrow and have a good night. Teacher, Ex the, good night. Today, today is midterm. Correct, correct, that's what I was missing. Ahora tienen que terminar el examen intermedio, ok, the midterm test, ok, hoy, not tomorrow, today, ok. Ok, teacher, ok, good night, teacher, good night, good night, bye bye. Hello, Giovanni. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Okay. Tell me, how can I assist you here? Do you have questions? Mm. Pues, pues, pues. Sería con respecto uh -huh. bueno la, el uso del if uh -huh. if eh, quiero ver 
más que todo de, la, de los if, del de on, in, at, y así. Más que todo es de la... The prepositions. Prepositions. Mm -hmm. Ok, in, on, at, and you said another word. It's a different one, if. Esto es muy diferente a esto, ok? Vamos a ver. If is a word that you use like a condition, ok? You are giving a condition for something, uh, something else happen, ok? For example, Giovanni, I could say if it is raining, I use an umbrella, ok? I use an umbrella. Si no llueve, ok, este if es una condición, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la condición? It's raining. Ok, if it is raining, esta es la condición. Uh -huh. And then I say what, I, what is going to happen si esta condición se cumple, que esto va a suceder, ok? Entonces, if it is raining, if es para decir sí condicionalmente. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien. ¿Entendido hasta ahí? ¿El if? Sí. Ok. ¿Cree que me sí. puede dar un ejemplo, Giovanni, usted? Eh, eh, a ver. La con quiero ver, no sé. Uh -huh. Vaya, imaginémonos que usted va a ir a comprar un par de zapatos, ok, a pair of shoes, ok, veámonos en esa situación, pero usted tiene que 50 dólares, ok, tiene 50 Se dólares. Se pudiese ser como que. Se puede decir como que, if, if, uh, if I want to purchase one shoes. Ajá, ajá, otra vez. If I, ajá. If I want, if I purchase one shoes. A pair of shoes, a pair of shoes, a pair. A Porque pair si decimos shoes. one shoe, solo le va a comprar uno, ok? Entonces es a pair. Uh -huh of shoes. Uh -huh. If I purchase a pair mm -hmm. of shoes, uh -huh. esta es la condición. Mm -hmm. Si yo compro el par de zapatos, mm -hmm. ¿qué es lo que va a suceder? Uh, uh, I have, I have pay. Uh, if I purchase a pair of shoes, va, imaginémonos así. Va. Usted tiene solo 50 dólares. Y necesita comprar un par de zapatos y pagar la electricidad, ¿ok? And to pay the electricity or the bill, ¿ok? A bill, vamos a poner a bill. Vale, pero solo tengo 50 dólares, ¿ok? If I purchase a pair of shoes, imagínese que los zapatos cuestan 50 dólares, ¿ok? If I purchase a pair of shoes, Ajá, ¿qué es lo que sucedería? I can't. I don't. I Ajá. don't pay. Correct. I That's can't. The I, I, I don't pay. The bill. I don't pay the... The electricity bill, let's say. Okay. The electricity bill. Okay. ¿Y ese bill qué es, dicho? El recibo. La cuenta. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, if I purchase a pair of shoes, I don't pay the electricity bill. Why? Because es I como, spend the si $50. Hago esto, si hago esto, no hago lo otro. Exacto. Si pasa esto... Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Es un condicionante, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? If. Sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
-hmm. Are we okay with this word? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Ahora, fíjese bien que en este condicionante que estamos viendo, ok, vemos en presente esta y en presente la, en presente la condición y en presente la acción. ¿Verdad? Mira. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. If I purchase a pair of shoes of $50, right? I don't pay the electricity bill. Okay. Ahora. Hey, well, aquí. Look, if it is raining, I use an umbrella. Okay. If it is not raining, then I don't use an umbrella, right? Or maybe I use an umbrella because of the sun, right? <laughs> okay, but that's just joking. A ver. Ahora, con respecto de estas otras palabras. Wait, que son las preposiciones, yeah? in, on, at, las usamos para referirnos, ok, al tiempo, ok, time, o a lugares, ok, son prepositions of time or prepositions of place. ¿Se acuerda cuando hablábamos eh, de que, por ejemplo, I work in the morning, ok? I um, play at the park, ok? I play football at the park. Eh, si usted se fija, tenemos estas preposiciones que se refieren tanto a tiempo, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo in the morning, o cuando yo digo at the park, ok, lugar, ya, yeah? time and place. Bien, partiendo de eso, hay expresiones ya establecidas, aunque, mmm, no sé si me permite, le voy a cantar una cancioncita, ok, le voy a cantar uh -huh. una uh -huh. cancioncita, pero míreme así con las manos, ok, aquí, uh -huh. this is an spider. Okay, esta es una araña, right? And this spider, mm. okay, este es hablando de las de tiempo, perdón, las de lugar, que son mm. las que le dan un poquito más de problema a usted, es lo que más me ha preguntado. Entonces, digamos que esta es la casita de la araña, okay? Yes? Okay, mm -hmm. the spider is in. Ah, está adentro, okay? In. In, mire, está adentro, in. Ahora, digamos que aquí está la casita. Where is the spider? The spider is on, está on. encima, on, ok. Mm -hmm. And we could say, for example, where is, imagínese que está por aquí, o por aquí, o por aquí, o aquí, o aquí, o aquí, donde sea, ok. Es at. Ok, at, es un lugar abierto, ok, at, yeah, mm -hmm. so, if mm -hmm. you see, in, on, at, para, mm -hmm. también hay otras preposiciones, ahorita porque usted me preguntó solo por in, on, at, ok, pero, mm -hmm. para cantarle la cancioncita, ok, yo podría decir, in, on, By, porque está a la par, or next to, ¿verdad? Behind, yeah, in front of, yeah, enfrente de la casita, yeah. Entonces, oh, sorry, someone is help, uh, asking for help. Ok, ya vamos a ir a ayudarlos. Están teniendo problemas, con, supongo que con la tarea o con el examen, Giovanni. <laughs> ok um, Where is the spider? Solo déjenme recordar ahorita Ok um, uh -huh. ah, Se me fue en el momento La cancioncita que le iba a cantar Ok Where is the spider? Ok Ay, se me fue Giovanni Para poder decirle Ok, se la voy a volver <laughs> a decir la, la tonadita se me ha ido Ok uh, la voy a volver a preguntar, ok, sin la cancioncita, ok, vamos a ver, where is the spider, where is the spider, in. the spider is in, in. where is the spider, the spider in, 
in its own. Okay. Where is the spider? The, the spider is at. Is at the house. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just let me do something. Okay. Okay, no, I don't remember right now, so I'm going to, se la voy a deber para mañana la cancioncita, ok? Yeah, okay. en este momento ya me quedé así como directo, ok? Uh, hasta el momento vamos bien con eso? Sí, In sí. on ad, sí, ok, sí, sí. Bye. Pero hay expresiones con el tiempo, ok? Hay expresiones cuando exp uh, decimos el tiempo que ya están establecidas, que no debemos, uh, no hay un por qué, eh, por cada cosa, sino que es como en general y como cosa de costumbre. Por ejemplo, no decimos on the morning, decimos in the morning. No decimos in the night, decimos at night. Por eso lo que yo les recomiendo en esas es que aprenda las frases, ¿ok? Que aprenda las frases completas con el tiempo, ¿ok? Acerca del tiempo, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Ok, por ejemplo... No decimos, um, uh, decimos, no decimos in the night, ¿ok? Esto es incorrecto. ¿Cómo decimos? At night. At night. Yeah. No decimos on the morning, ¿ok? Decimos in the morning. In the morning. No decimos on the afternoon, ¿ok? Decimos in the afternoon, ¿ok? No decimos on, decimos in the afternoon. Y así vamos aprendiendo ahí, las de tiempo. Pero ahí se pudiese poner on today, ¿verdad? Um, on today, on today what? On today afternoon, mm -mm. Uh, depende, depende a qué se refiere, pero sería in today. In today something. Ok. Por ejemplo, ¿qué expresión uh -huh. quisiera decir? Cuando dice on today. Eh, uh, no sé, como, no sé. Uh, porque para de cuando decimos solo el día, cuando hablamos solo el día, entonces si decimos on Mondays, right? On Tuesday, ¿ya? Yeah. Ahí sí, utilizamos on. Ahora, on today, ¿qué? On today, class, decimos in today, class, ¿ok? In today's class, ¿ya? Yeah. No decimos on, decimos in today's class. Um, por eso, son frases que lo mejor, sí vamos a ver reglas, ok, sí vamos a ver reglas, pero esto es amplio, Giovanni, entonces, por el momento, lo que yo le, al nivel que vamos ahorita, es bueno que aprenda las frases. It's good if you learn the, memorize the phrases, ok, practice the phrases, ok. Sí, teacher. Ok. Pues ya, solo eso era, creo. Ok. ¿Sabes qué voy a hacer? Se la voy a buscar en YouTube. <risa> eso voy a hacer ahorita. ¿Está bueno? Sí. <risa> ahorita se la busco, permítame. Eh, sería. Okay, here it is, I think. Ah, aquí está. On, in, under. On, in. Ah, ya me acordé. Al verla ya me acordé. 
<ríe> Giovanni, okay. al verla ya me acordé, pero eso sí, mire. On, in, under, under no se lo enseñé, under es abajo, ok, o debajo de, ok, sería. Uh, on, in, under, by, on, in, under, by, on, in, under, by, where is the spider, ok, you got it? Vamos a poner. Mm -hmm. Estas son de lugar, ¿ok? Entonces, hay preposiciones de lugar, hay preposiciones de tiempo. Estas son de lugar. Solo déjenme ponerle el videito. Se lo voy a mandar, Giovanni. No lo carga. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. No, no, ya no por alguna problema. razón será que no quieren más cancioncitas. <risa> vale, pero se lo voy a cantar rapidito. Síganse las manos. On, in. Oh, sí. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. In, on, under, by. Where is the spider? Yes, I remembered it. <risa> ya tengo bastante <risa> rato de no estar con niños. Por eso es. Ok. Pero lo que okay, bien se aprende nunca se olvida. <laughs> okay. ok, is there any other question that you have uh, that I can help no, with? Teacher. No, okay, then. No problem, Giovanni. So let us meet tomorrow. Okay, have a Thank good you, night. Teacher. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.